This wasn't the news that I was hoping for. Well, this certainly wasn't what I had planned for. Hello, my over 50s, and it is so good to see everybody. Yes, I have been keeping a very low profile because I'm still in the tail end of my Part 135 certification, and that is going very well. And I will have more programs on that as that process progresses. But let me tell you what's been going on in the meantime. So my plan this year was to upgrade from my Cardinal. I absolutely love the 210 and have been completely spoiled by it. And I feel that I've outgrown my Cardinal. So my plan was to get the carry through spar inspection done and then put the Cardinal on the market and sell it. Easy, right, until I got a phone call, Ted. I have bad news for you. The eddy inspection failed because of corrosion. Your spar needs to be replaced. So I talked with the mechanic. The corrosion was so bad on the spar that it was deemed unsafe, and you can't argue with that. And although this news is really bad, you cannot argue with safety. And instantly I thought, well, if this repair is gonna be around 30 to $35,000, that's still cheaper than a funeral and that's the way you have to look at it. So this was the condition of the spar. It didn't look so bad, but there were, and there were no cracks in it. However, the corrosion itself was bad. So where do we go from here? So for the next few days, I just needed to map out everything that's involved with a spar replacement on a Cessna 177. Then I came back and I sat down with the owner of his shop, who's a friend of mine, and I asked him point blank, hey, are you comfortable doing a job like this? This is basically rebuilding the airplane and it's a big job. In fact, is it the biggest job that you've ever done? I know it's the biggest job I've ever done as an owner that I'm responsible for. And he was very confident that he can do it and I was completely confident in his abilities. And I was completely confident in his staff. What's involved in this repair is basically taking the airplane completely apart and rebuilding it from the structure up. And that's exactly what's happening. So as far as finding a new spar, this is really important. I devoted a few days to getting online and calling places that had carry through spars available. The one thing you want to do is make sure the paperwork is perfect on these spars. Now there were a lot of places that I found that were selling spars. And the prices range from $7,000 all the way to $15,000. So I found my spar at BAS Part Sales out in Denver, Colorado. They were amazing to work with and their paperwork was perfect. It was perfectly in order. I paid $12,000 for the spar. And before I made the purchase, I got a copy of the paperwork and I sent it to my mechanic to have him review it. And they were very helpful on the phone and they also have an excellent reputation. My mechanic approved it and I paid $12,000 for the spar and it shipped out the next day. I received the spar three days later and the mechanic and the team looked at the spar when they came in and they said it was fantastic. So the wings came off and the work began. Now, one thing we all know is when we do a big job like this on an older aircraft, there are going to be surprises. And this was what I was really worried about. I was already into this job $16,800, $4,800 for the inspection and, and $12,000 for the spar. So this is a big job. They have to strip the aircraft interior, remove the skin off the top, and remove the old spar. And it is very alarming to see your aircraft in this condition because the only thing I was thinking about is, oh my gosh, what are they gonna find? And it's just emotionally upsetting because you're pouring money into this antique and it's just not fun or enjoyable to look at your airplane like this. But you can't get all emotional about this. You have to treat it like a work project. You have to move on and get the airplane repaired and stay on top of it without being a control freak. You have to let the mechanics do their job. You have to make sure you're on top of everything and you can help them and get them anything they need, but don't get in the way. It's only gonna cost more time and more money. Remember, this is not a repair where you want to save money. This must be done right. So the new spar went in and this is what it looks like. 
and I must say, this is perfect. This is actually better structurally than the airplane was originally. They removed all the structural components and applied corrosion treatment to every single area that hasn't seen corrosion treatment since 1968. So this airplane will actually be better structurally than what it was. So I want to share this experience with you because I know this is going to happen to other 210 owners and other 177 owners. And of course, we have a 210 that we have to deal with later on down the road, which I don't even want to think about right now. I want to get through this, but I'm sure that one's going to be fine. So remember, here's what you need to do and keep in mind if you have to go through this. Number one, make sure you're confident and comfortable with the shop where you're doing repairs. This is a huge job. Posada Aviation in Zephyr Hills, Florida is doing this job and I'm super confident and pleased in their ability as well as just super pleased with the progress and how it's going so far. The initial inspection failure was about four weeks ago and if we get good news from Textron, the airplane should be finished in a couple of weeks. So the speed of this is actually going very, very well and we may be looking at only six, seven weeks for the complete repair. You have to make sure the paperwork for the carry-through spar that you're purchasing is perfect. Before you buy the new spar, share the paperwork with your mechanic and talk with him about it and get their vote of confidence. Rely on your mechanic's expertise. Remember, once your spar is removed from the airplane, it's no longer good. It is a piece of modern art or a coffee table or a large paperweight or a shelf or anything but an airplane part anymore. Safety is paramount. And remember, good decisions are easy to make. Just consider the alternative. That saying never holds more truth than in this situation. And finally, there is light at the end of the tunnel. If you have to go through this, your plane will be better than it was going into it. This will be an excellent airplane when it's all done. Now, I was planning on selling the Cardinal to upgrade to a 210, and I am still planning on doing that when this repair is all over. It has a new spar from a 1977 Cardinal, and the structure of this airplane is now and will be stronger and better than it was before. So if you have any questions, you'd like to reach out to me and talk to me about some details, please feel free to do so. Leave your comments in the comments section below, and I hope you learned something. And if you have to go through this, there is daylight on the other side. You will be okay. And yes, it's expensive, but it's an airplane and safety cannot be compromised. So thanks again. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. And remember, if you're over 50, get up and get in the air. You gotta get your airplane fixed too. <laughs>